How's it going everyone and welcome back to some more Danganronpa Another Despair Academy. Sorry, I'm still getting used to saying this after Ultra Despair Girls. Um, give me just one second, seems that all is good. Fantastic, let's move! So, um, I really like the first episode. It's very reminiscent of, this game is very reminiscent of Trigger Happy Habit, but... I have some things to say before I start. Uh, first of all, thank you all for the support on the first episode. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but you guys really seem interested in a playthrough of this, because apparently it's very popular. So I was like, you know what, this is gonna be fun. Also, I bought the other game. Uh, the Let's Play's gonna start next week, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, you guys might remember that I talked about a, another game that I'm gonna LP at the same time as this one. And I already bought it. I have it. Uh, it's on my Steam library, and it's just waiting for the right time. Anyways, folks, uh, you might also notice that the text is a lot easier to read this time, and that is because, once again, my good friend Zephyrim gave me some tips on how to properly launch the build of the game that I have. I am using a program called Easy RPG Player that is used to uh, like run decrypted games like this. And the fonts used are a lot better. I tested it out, and yes, <laughs> just, 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 yes. It, it's so much better, dude. Also, again, uh, it's a little off-putting that my mic is so far away from me, but I can't help it since I have this huge keyboard in front of me right now. But anyways, that's besides the point. I'm here to follow Yuki Maeda and the rest of this class, which I don't even know the number of the class. I know. Trigger Happy Havoc's class was the 78th, uh, Goodbye Despair's class was the 77th, I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> this is None of this is canon, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Anyways, folks, I actually have to cut the video here for one particular reason, and that is the game didn't allow me to save after the end of the prologue, so I have to go through the entirety of Monokuma's monologue again. But regardless, I will see you all when Chapter 1 starts. Uh, until then. Here we are, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Took a little longer than I thought. This episode's either gonna be shorter than usual, or gonna be separated by something I like to call... Lunchtime. Anyways, it's a little too loud. Even though it's like super, super low. Anyway, whatever. <clears throat> Is this my room? I'm currently in the student dorms. When I placed my hand on my chest, I felt my heart still pounding. Right. The prologue ended with, like, almost all other Danganronpa prologues end this way. Monokuma telling the students, Hey! Kill each other, alright? It's no wonder, having just went through that entrance ceremony at the gym. New school, new friends. We should have started an amazing school year. But instead, we suddenly passed out and became trapped in this isolated place. And to make things worse, kill another person to get out? We were still a bit wary of each other, but quickly snapped out and decided to investigate the school. Maybe we might find an exit or a clue to escape. Plus, we don't even know how this building looks like. Most locked doors were open after we came out from the gym, so we decided to split up and search different parts of the building individually. When I entered the student dorms, this room had caught my attention. The name Yuki Maeda was written on the nameplate of this room. That wasn't all. The hallway was full of rooms with the other student's name as well. Dude, I am so glad this, um, you can run it like this as well because god damn it, this is so much easier to read! Thank you! Each room had a key in its doorknob, also labeled with a name. Let's look around this room. Alright, there we go. At least this game tells you immediately what you need to investigate first. A red fire extinguisher for fire emergencies. A screen mounted on the wall. I pressed its switch, but nothing happened. A trash can. It's completely empty inside. Uh, that the camera? Yeah. A surveillance camera. I wonder if this one has a gun attached, too. <sighs> Looks like I'm not gonna get much privacy in my own room, either. This is recording, right? I swear to God, if it isn't. Swear to God, if I made a mistake. No, it is. Great, 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 great. Okay. 
A drawer of average size. I found scissors and a glue stick inside, but they don't look that useful. Clock. The, time's, the time now is a bit over 12. I'm not sure whether it's AM or PM. A desk with a chair. A notepad and a pen. Oh, sorry. A notepad and a pen were, were in the desk drawer. Okay, cool. A strange note? From Headmaster Monokuma! The room keys are designed to be resistant to lockpicking! They are hard to replicate, so please take caution to prevent any losses. The shower rooms are ready, but note that water will be cut off during nighttime. Also, only the women's shower rooms are able to be locked from the inside. Basic supplies essential to school life have been supplied. Check for your notepad, scissors, glue, and pen in the drawer. Pens and scissors are recommended for use as they make great weapons. Anything else needed for your convenience will be added on time. Relax and enjoy your time at school. Right. Nothing but useless, useless scribble. I crumpled the note and threw it away. What about this? A table that seems to be made from high quality wood. It shines on the surface. And then there's the bed. I I'm sorry, I have to stand on it? Why? <laughs> okay, I guess. A comfy bed. Do we really have to live here? Even put a bed in our rooms. This room does look great to live in. I don't have the time though. There, there weren't any clues here. I should just take the key and move on to somewhere else. Alright. Oh, it's her. It's Ayame. Ah, Yuki. I was looking for you. Ayame? What's the matter? How's the investigation going? It seems mostly done, so we have gathered at the diner. Each of us is going to share what we found. So, come to the diner for now. You should already know that it, that it is right ahead this way. Okay. Everyone apart from us should be there. I'll go ahead, so follow right after me. Alright, bye! Alright, let's go. Meeting at the diner. I hope everyone had some progress finding clues. We move! This is literally... Okay, so, wait, is this... This is... Yeah, this layout is very, very similar to Trader Happy Havocs. The bathhouse, right? Uh, sorry, guys. Ah, uh, my nose! Ah! Yep. The diner, or the dining hall. This is the diner. There we go. You're all here. You just arrived? Yuki, this is not the first time you came late to a meeting. Sorry. Hey, hey, it's fine. Come sit here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Are we all here? And let's present what each of us found. We might discover something if we put our pieces together. Um, weren't the weren't there guys who went individually and guys who went in groups? How about a group presentation? Group project? Satsuki's heart is pounding with excitement to do her first one since elementary school. Don't joke around. We're trying to be serious here. Anyone should start. Um. You're all so quiet. Let's make this fun. I'll go first. Fun? We want to have fun right now. If you think this is some kid's show, keep your fantasies to yourself. What? Why do you have to be so mean? It's important to stay positive because we're like this. Whoa, I get why you're like that, but let's chill. You know, fighting like mad bulls will only make you look bad. Right. Let us discuss if there are any clues to escape first. Oh, Kanata. Uh, uh, people told me you're very much like Kana <laughs> as well. <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. Dude, I swear to god. Her name was Akane, right? Did you find anything? Ah, uh, okay. I looked around the school building with Kanata and Kyoka. Uh, you were trying to find a way to reach the outside, but every window was screened with plates, and some doors didn't even open at all. Yeah, just as Monokuma told us. We tried pounding and kicking on the entrance gate, but it didn't budge a bit. I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself! We didn't make any progress either. It's the same for us. That's not a good thing, you know. Good heavens, you're right! God, this guy is... 
<laughs> this guy's not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> I like him though. Well, it's just as he said. Teruya, Ayame, and I looked around the gym to search for hidden stairs or passages. All that for nothing. I found a stairway leading upstairs, but it was blocked by a gate. At least we checked that there really are cameras everywhere. Speaking of stairs, me, Tsurugi, Mitch, and Kizuna, us four investigated the student dorms. We also found a stairway leading up, but it was blocked by a gate similar to the one Ayame described. Everywhere is blocked! I was so annoyed! All we found there was rooms with each of our names on. Yes, we checked. We just checked it as well. That Monokuma is really going to make us live here! Seriously, giving us rooms?! Is this a hotel or something? Kakaram and I checked that, that they are completely soundproof. Even if someone shouts right at the walls, you won't hear it from another room. And the rooms had shower facilities. I have to admit, the amenities here are awesome. It's like a luxury hotel. That's not important. There wasn't any clues there either. So what? We found nothing. There, are you happy now? Calm down. I know you might be anxious, but... No one else found anything? Me! Me! Satsuki made the breakthrough discovery of the century! Satsuki looked around right here, the diner. And guess what? It's connected to the kitchen inside. Ah, God bless you, Satsuki. How is that a breakthrough? We can see that even from this table! We met Monokuma in the kitchen. What? Is this true? You mean with Satsuki? That's an odd duo. We were in separate groups, but it happened to meet in the kitchen. Monokuma came out when Satsuki opened the fridge door. If I recall correctly, it said, don't you worry! Okay, okay. I, I can't imagine Kinji can replicate Monokuma's voice that accurately. It said, don't worry. Our infinite food stock will never run out. And disappear. Came out and disappear? As of its literal meaning? It did that in the gym. It's probably something similar. My hand is freezing up and it's hurting. How does it even work? If that's true, at least we won't have to worry about starving to death. <laughs> Is that one good thing we have? How ignorant. Is that my phone? Huh, weird. You again! In conclusion, none of you found any clues? You really are a bunch of useless fools. Don't think you've trash talk enough? Where are your classmates? We didn't hear from one person yet. Was it... Mikako? It's no use! That girl never says a thing! It's a waste of breath to talk with someone who did nothing but stand in the gym all this time. M Mikako, can you try to be more involved in group discussions? You guys really are, are really a horde of imbeciles just labeled ultimates. How did you even manage to be called the hope of this country? What? Then what did you find? Did you do anything at all? you know what this is? With a confident slam, Mikaru put, up, put down a, sleep, a slip of paper on the table. I soon recognized what it was. It's a guide to Hope Speak Academy? A guide? Let me see. The map's only for the first floor, but the gym, infirmary, all your visuals room, diner and bathhouse in the dorms matches the building we're in right now. Really? We're actually in Hope Speak? Mikaru, where did you find this? In an empty classroom. Anyone could have found it with a bit of effort. But none of you did, which means... This investigation of yours was an utter failure. Either that, or you, or you, or, or you all did a wonderful job of demonstrating your idiocy. Now you're throwing insults straight to our face? I'm done with you, bitch! Am I wrong? I observed each of you closely since the introductions, and everything I saw failed to convince me that you actually deserve your titles. What good is it to be exceptional in one field if you can't think, act, and reason it on the same on that same level? Oh yeah? You're so great? What's your talent, huh? Professor? Wanna see who's better at fighting? Stop! Honestly, she kinda of, she kinda of deserves it though, Tarugi. She kinda kinda She kinda She kinda bitch! She kinda bitch! 
Can't believe someone named Ray is that up that much of a bitch. We can't waste time fighting. Of course, I'm not saying everyone should blindly trust each other. I understand Mikari's reasoning as well. Anyone might try to kill at this moment, after all. Tsurugi's speech was a natural reminder to what Monokuma had told us earlier. Kill to leave. More specifically, kill a classmate to leave. I wasn't sure if it would actually happen, but... Again, it hasn't been long since we first met. In other words, we were total strangers to each other up until today. I decided to trust them, but... What if we can believe in each other completely? Kill! Damn, I was trying not to think about it! Seriously, murder? Who'd ever do that? Where? I'm sorry to say I can't trust you all either. If we were fully confident that no one would ever commit murder, we wouldn't be like this right now. Uh... Hmm. At least someone can act useful. Mikaro, I'll ask you to stop antagonizing us too. There's no guarantee that a murder will actually happen, and it's crucial that we establish some degree of, of communication between us all. <laughs> Normal talk with would-be murderers? Interesting. Maybe I'll try. You can't trust us that much. Anyway, we are now clear of what this place is thanks to Mikaro's uh, brochure. But still no clues to escape. Uh, hey, this is just our first investigation. Will we find something if we put in some more time? And it might be blocked now, but there's another floor above. We can give up on the possibility of a clue being there. Yuki's right. For something so big like this, we can't expect to be finished after a single day's work. To add, all 15 of us went missing at once. Even if we are set apart from the outside, someone must have noticed and started searching for us. Yeah, we shouldn't lose hope even if we can't get out right now. Oh, you poor naive souls, I pity you. You guys have no idea what you're in for. SIX CHAPTERS OF PAIN! That's pretty much it. Let's find a way together, slowly and steadily. Hey, Car, I won't ask for full-time cooperation, so at least share what you get. There will definitely be a time when we need your help. No, when you need our help, okay. <laughs> that also applies to you, Mikako. Tsuruhi, you're so dependable! Is it because you're a cop? We would be fighting all over by now if it wasn't for you. That's our ultimate leader! You flatter me. I want to trust you and leave this place as much as you do. That's why we need to work together and believe in each other. Yeah, this guy looks really dependable. Too much, actually. <laughs> I'm scared of him. I don't know why. Something tells me that he's gonna snap at some point. I mean, if he doesn't die in this first chapter. Kaede? <laughs> Kaede, <laughs> why? <laughs> Sorry. Then what should we do next? Well, we can keep investigating. For that, did you try using the e-handbook that Monokuma gave us? Do we need to? It contains the school regulations. Monokuma said violators will be punished, so whether you like it or not, it's better to take a look. Punished. Probably like that crazy shooting at the gym. Check the rules so you don't have to face the same thing. We check the rules, stay wary of Monokuma, and keep searching for clues to escape. Are we all set then? Yahoo! Let's do this! We ain't gonna stay here forever! Uh uh! Then I shall begin. Bye. Kenji always starts things on his own. It's no big man. Now what's left is keeping your composure and working on the investigation step by step. Right, it's not good for you to do too much work in one day. Let's go rest, rest since it's getting late. Yeah, we should. I'm tired from all these things that happened today. And everyone search the school for clues whenever it's possible. Share what you find. We'll call it a day for now. So, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was told that, like, the builds I'm going to be using for Prologue in Chapter 1 are going to be different than the ones for the rest of the game. I'm not sure if the free time events in this one are translated, but I'm pretty I know that from chapter two onwards they won't be, unfortunately. Uh I'm gonna actually react to the free time events on an off video after I complete the game, because uh Well, I kinda we we all know that my previous top tens have been heavily, heavily influenced by free time events. <laughs> my hero. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
Uh, let's go. I'm gonna check if free time events are uh, translated in this version, in this build. If they aren't, well, we'll just skip them, I guess. I'm pretty sure they are in this because this is like the first official build. Anyway, <clears throat> although we discovered nothing other than where this place is, we had s and had some minor conflicts with Mikaru, we stayed determined. Almost ten, like Akane said. Wait, what? Confused. The clock said it was twelve. Really? Should have go have a rest too. Maybe, maybe it was like mistranslated. I don't know. Phew. There really were a lot of things today. I'm tired. Living here forever? No way. My family is waiting, and my friends. I'll do my best from tomorrow. I will get out of this place. Hmm? Someone's at the door. Oh. Oh wait, no. Ah, school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Night time is here, and the diner will be off limits. Sleep tight and nighty night. All right, there we go. Night time. The diner turns off limits. It looks related to the regulations. As Surugi told us, I should check the school regulations before going to sleep. The e handbook in your inventory was activated. You can now you now have access to the regulations, report card, and truth bullets feature. Let's go. Compliance with school regulations is an essential part of school life. Open the HEE handbook and check the regulations before ending the day. Gotcha. Alright, let's check the HEE handbook. Yuki Maeda. It's my name. It seems the owner's name is displayed like Monokuma said. Alright. Okay. Students may reside only within the school. There is no end date to the communal life. Be nice to each other. Violence between students is prohibited. Sorry, what? How do you kill? Okay, whatever. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly, okay? With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. Violence, violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras and school property. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate, even if, they're, if they are not exposed in the class trial. Additional school regulations may be added if necessary, which always happens. The report card on everybody. I like how Yuki is the 12th. Man, I am not that different from him, huh? Well, he's far thinner than I am, like, in, in terms of weight. Oh, she's so short! <laughs> She is so short, as well as the she's a she's a feather. Holy crap! She's a small bean. I need to protect her. Sorry, guys. I, I just needed to see. What a mess. These rules are so full of absurdity. Why is Monokuma doing these things, and who's behind it? I was able to feel a sense of anxiety and immense curiosity at the same time. The rules are a bit bothering, but they're not that hard to keep. I think the others would feel the same. Our our only way out is to give it all, is to give all we've got from tomorrow. <sighs> I, I get, I get what you're trying to reference, but why? I should go to sleep for. I should go to sleep for tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be able to we'll be able to encounter it quickly. Do we have Monokuma theaters? Do we have Monokuma theaters in this? Please tell me yes. Now that I checked the regulations, let's get some rest. Actually, I don't feel like it at all. But sleeping my strength would be better for the investigation. Monokuma Theater, please! What happened to Hope Speak Academy? Why were we trapped here? Leaving behind the countless questions in my mind, my consciousness faded into the darkness. Okay, that's not Monokuma Theater. Despair. An insurmountable amount of despair. That swarm of despair is slowly crawling up from my inside, dominating every sense of me. What? Yet. I'm glad to feel what I wanted. This is very different from your typical chapter one, isn't it? Who's talking? Whoa, okay, that happened. Ugh. Huh? Was I asleep? What time is it now? Hello, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. morning. Rise and shine are signed. Let us live another... 
Let us have another lively day! Rise and shine or sign, really? This game was made way before V3! Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Morning already. I thought I had a strange dream. Yeah! What the hell was that? I guess I couldn't get enough sleep in a place like this. But I do feel refreshed. I better start investigating. Didn't you start by getting some food? No specific plans for now, but I'll do whatever I can. Huh? There's something under the pillow. Hey! Let's go! The first lot of coin! Coin? I've never seen it before. It has Monokuma's face on it. Haha! -ha! Yuki! I see you found a Monocoin! <laughs> what are you so scared of? Cutie boy should smile at the sight of cutie bears! Why'd you come here? What do you want? Just telling you about the Monocoin you just found! Monocoin? You mean this coin? Yep! Actually, I had quite a lot of those around the school for your entertainment! That mono coin can be used to draw a prize from the mono mono machine in the antique store! Think of it as a vending machine, full of fabulous presents that will make your school life even cooler! Keep, it in, keep in mind that you need one mono coin per present! Aren't you excited to give it a try? <laughs> Monokuma disappeared again after talking by, all by itself again. It doesn't look that useful, <laughs> but I guess I could try try for fun later. Man, the others must have started investigating right now. I should get started too. From this point onward, you can find hidden monocoins around the school. Ooh, sorry, some objects in the school have a monocoin hidden inside. Monocoins can be used to play the Mono Mono Machine at the antique store located in the first floor. The Mono Mono Machine contains cool presents that you can give as a gift to the other students. Each person has different preferences, so try giving the right present to the right person. Morning. Okay, cool. Let me just see something in my handbook. Because it would say what people like, right? Maybe not. <laughs> okay, whatever. I figured that I figured it would. Well whatever, let's move. Hmm? Ooh, where should I start? Uh, stop it! Go away! I don't know who's talking. What was that? That voice! It was really close from here! Oh. Akane and Mitch? What's going on? What the- Yuki! Yuki! What are you two doing here? It was nothing! What- Oh. Yuki, thank you for the timely appearance. Uh, did something happen? You didn't sound very happy back there. Uh, Mitsuhiro approached me right after I got out of my room and asked me to give him some physical affection. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. What? That's like sexual harassment! Yeah, it is! Are you okay? Yeah, I wasn't forced into anything. After all, it's not my first time facing people like him. Everywhere I went, I had to do with some jerk. But him trying to make you do that? I didn't think Mitch would be that kind of person. Really? I never liked this cockiness from the start. I could have made him let go, but that athlete group sure was strong. I like that you're gentle and well-mannered, and like him. And like him. Uh, bleh, my English just... My, my, my accent just like completely butchered that sentence. I'm sorry. Not really, I'm not like that all the time. <laughs> Anyways, you got me out of trouble. Thank you, Yuki. I see. Okay. You're welcome. All I did was just show up, though. Jeez, I'm still not done with Mitsuhiro. How could he think I'm a girl who could just come and take over like nothing? I should have a conversation with him later. Now then, Yuki, would you mind going to the school building with me? Some place it might have been unlocked today. Together? Okay, I'm fine with that. I was running to investigate anyway. Great! Let's go- I want to go to the antique store. Let's go there together. I got to work with a cheerful Akane from this early morning. Okay, that's cool. Oh. That's dope. What is this? Oh, th these are all dorms, that's right. What is it now? Hey, Mitch, about what went on earlier. I told you it was nothing! Why don't you mind your own business? Let's go, Yuki. I don't like him. He, he's mean. 
A Tuki! Oh, hi. What? Hello! <laughs> By the way, I loved your reaction. What the? Where did you come out from? Monokuma can pop up anywhere at any time. I noticed that you were attempting something dangerous, so I came to warn you. I did something dangerous? Yes, I know kids your age are often tempted by desire, but trying to enter the women's restroom is still unacceptable behavior. When did I try to enter it? I was just walking past it. I don't let your instincts overtake you, Yugi, because I consider such acts as a violation of the rules and will immediately punish it. Did you understand? No sneaking in the restroom of the opposite sex or peeking in the bathhouse while it's still in use. <laughs> Okay, I, I wasn't planning on doing it. <laughs> okay, cool. What was that for? Satsuki, how what's up? Hiya! Hi, Satsuki. Yuki and Akane? Where are you heading stuck so close together? Oh, we're not really stuck together, right, Yuki? By the way, did you already go poo? <laughs> A great way to start off the morning is to please your body. God, I love Satsuki, dude. Satsuki? You're not supposed to be so explicit. <laughs> Yuki's just like, bruh. Oh, it's Mikako. Hello. Mikako, did you sleep well? Um, Mikako? Hi. Wow, it takes so long for her, just for her to say hi. I wonder what- She's probably seen some shit, honestly. Laundry room. Anybody else out here? Who's at the diner? I figured there would be people here. Haru! Hi! Did you sleep well? I'm guessing you two are here for breakfast. Morning, Haru. Actually, Akane and I are going to have breakfast after we're done investigating. Haruhiko, where did you get the food from? Did you cook it yourself? Hmm? From the kitchen! There's a sort of a buffet there with all kinds of cooked dishes. I just grabbed what I wanted to eat! Cooked dishes? Who made them? Most certainly, Monokuma. He talked about of an infinite food stock yesterday. Ayame, you're here too. You were here too. I saw you entering with Yuki. Are you two on a joint task? Yeah, he's my personal bodyguard. What? <laughs> no way, Yuki. What did you do to get that close to Akane in a day? Stop teasing me. We're not that close. <laughs> awesome. Based. Epic base moment. Hi, you! Did you sleep well last night? Black Kizuna, don't stick to me like this all of a sudden! Jeez. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is, the, this is the second episode, bro. It's way too early for this. Oh, didn't see you there, Akane. How did you sleep? You're oddly energetic today. You got it wrong. I really want to give up and pretend like nothing's happened. But I'm a cheerleader, you know? If I'm down, then the people around me will be down, too. I need to force myself to be happy. Good for you, but when are you gonna let go of it? <laughs> Already, dude. What's wrong with it? It's just a sign of intimacy between friends. Yugi promised to investigate the school with me. Let's go, Yugi. Akane, you suddenly sound really angry. Yeah, yeah, have fun in your investigation or whatever. <laughs> For fuck's sake, dude. Anybody in the kitchen? Nope. Uh, some, some of these places look a little different. What are these? I don't understand what these suits of armor are meant to be. Well, whatever, let's go. Hey! Kyoka! Huh? Look who's here! Yuki and Akane! Hi, Kyoka. Uh, whoa, where are you two going? Oh, are you here to investigate the school building? Pretty much. Are you here for the same reason? Me? Oh, the investigation. Uh, yes. I was just about to start. <laughs> oh, she has Henji's laugh? No! Oh god! Kyoka, you were goofing around, weren't you? I can tell I can tell it just by your looks. Ah, no! Technically a school tour can be considered an investigation, blah blah. I think some rescuers are gonna show up while you're slacking off. Go look for clues! Our lives are on the line. That's Akane, alright. She's so scary when she's mad. Antique store, let's go. Again, I'm sorry for my notes. Huh? 
Dude, this is the antique store. There's a lot piled up here. You think we could find a clue among those? Maybe, but it'd take a lot of time to search through all of them. Hey, Yuki. Have we met somewhere else before? I'm sorry? Huh? No, yesterday's the, the, the time I first saw everyone. Yeah, isn't it? Same with me. Is this like a Makoto and Sayaka type of thing? God, I hope not. But I felt that something was odd while being with you on the way here. Odd? It's just me, right? Yeah, right. It's probably because you're so nice and friendly. Is that a compliment? Of course! <laughs> and I really mean it. Although we met yesterday and spent little time together, I can tell it that you're a good person. Uh, is there a reason you're saying it so firmly? Didn't you come to help me when Mitsu Mitsuhiro was bothering me? There's a lot of people who won't even care. And now you, co you came out to investigate with me when you were busy with your own work. You feel like a long-known friend. Like, you're on my side forever. No, you flattered me enough. It's embarrassing to hear that when I did barely anything. Maybe it's just that. But there really is something. Something that makes you seem more reliable than the others. <clears throat> Akane, allow me to educate you on the role of the protagonist. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very special condition that makes you a lot more reliable than many of the others. Is that a fucking DDR pad? Best game, 10 out of 10. Let's go. Well, not really DDR, but like... You get my point. Say, hey, you look like the least likely one to kill someone. I'm so scared, but here we are. Kill? No one would do that here, not just me. Oh, of course. I think so too, but... What I'm trying to say is that you're that much of a trustworthy person. Do you see my point? This sudden bright mood. Just Akane like... <laughs> no way. The world famous ultimate maid having a crush on me from the first day? How could that even happen in reality? I'd better snap out of these stupid fancies. <laughs> that was really awkward. Pretend that you didn't hear it, Yuki. Oh, but I want to make this clear. Yuki, let's be close friends. Just as friends, like I thought. But being friends isn't that bad, right? Sure, I, I hope we really get along, Akane. Let's leave this place together. Yeah! Okay. We needed that. Th that that was wholesome, though. That was pretty wholesome. I liked it. Even in the vaguest of times, in an unknown place, our bonds persist and move toward a new direction. Someday that bond will be the motivator of, the, of our desires to make us more determined than ever. Alright, we're investigating, I guess. By the way, Akane, is there any reason why you wanted to visit, visit the antique store? Alright, to tell the truth, I'm really into collecting all sorts of rare items. You know, all of my employers were really wealthy. Every single one of them had some kind of precious artifact at their, at their house. I was able to have a close look on them and they turned out to be pretty interesting. Though so I started my own collection on my, in my house. I see. So what do you think of this antique store in Homespeak Academy? Uh, well, I'd say it's kind of dull. I was expecting to see some antiques or relics, but I guess I was wrong. But it doesn't mean everything here looks boring. Not this machine at the center of this room. What would it be for? Come to think of it, Monokuma told me. Just telling you about the monocoin you just found! Monocoin? You mean this coin? Yep! I had quite a lot of those around the school for your entertainment! That monocoin can be used to draw a prize from the Mono Mono machine in the antique store! Think of it as a vending machine full of fabulous presents that will make your school life even cooler! And I'm gonna only use probably for chapter one. I'm so sad about that. Keep in mind that you need one monocorn per present! Aren't you excited to give it a try? <laughs> when I found I found it below the pillow. Akane, this machine is. I told Akane what Monokuma had said. Mono mono machine full of presents? Super cool! Go try it, Yuki! Oh my god, that's Fred's adorable, bro. Huh? But this might just be Monokuma trying to trick. We could always run if something looks wrong. Hey, can I keep the presents if you get one? This machine seems to have some real valuable items inside. Akane, I I see your eyes sparkling. I'll hang out with you in exchange. Would that work? 
<sighs> How could it not work? It's the request of the ultimate maid. I'll give that machine a try. <laughs> I was thinking of doing it anyway. Okay, here I go. Alright, let's start it. Is this like Danganronpa 1's Mono Mono Machine? Yep. Uh, Alright, let's draw a present. An antique teacup. Is this scripted? Sounds like something that would be scripted for Akane, honestly. Yuki, did you get it? What did you get? Like a teacup? <gasps> wow, that teacup! I can't believe it, it's something that held a ton of value! Yugi, can I keep it? <laughs> That's adorable, dude. Well, I'm not the expert there, and I got it for you anyway, so... Thank you, thanks so much, Yuki. Here's my thank you gift. Let me tell you of some of my stories. Okay, yeah. So this is a free time event, isn't it? Akane and I grew a bit closer. You can now initiate free time events during your free time. Yep, figure. Free times are opportunities to interact and bond deeper with fellow students. Converse with the student to raise their affection. Wait, did I mess something up? Sorry guys. Uh, when it reaches a certain level, an event will occur and your relationship will grow closer. You may also raise affection by giving a present. The present! Each student has their own preferences. Giving a certain present may increase affection greatly or make it drop. Choose your presents wisely. Yep. Just like the original games. After an event, the student's report card will be updated in the e-handbook. When you complete a student's free time event, you can acquire a unique skill that will assist you in gameplay. During class trials, probably. Um, or, yeah, there's the mono coins one as well. Spending time with students will end the current free time. Up to two free times in the morning and afternoon will be given in a normal day. You may choose to take a nap in your bed if you do not wish to talk with others. The plot will automatically progress as time passes. Also, presents can be drawn from the mono mono machine. Let's spend your first free time with Akane. Presents can be selected in the equip menu. Be careful not to drop to the affection meter by choosing nothing for your present. You can do that? Bruh! Good thing I'm not doing this from chapter 2 onwards. How about trying it yourself? Okay, choose your present in the equip menu. Okay, cool. Is that it? Ah, thank you so much. This is one of my favorites. I'll make sure to return this thing. <laughs> Watching her so overjoyed makes me feel delighted as well. That's so cool, though. Do we get to talk with her? Yep. Nice. So, Akane, can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? I can answer any question of a friend. It just came up in my mind. Why did you choose to become a maid? Akane? Uh, sorry. Well, I'm quite what I expected. So you want to know how I got my job as a maid? It's kind of a hard subject to talk about, but I'll tell you since you asked. I don't have any parents. What? They passed away long ago when I was a baby. I can't even remember their faces. I spent my childhood in an orphanage. When it closed down though, I was forced onto the streets with nothing. No house, no family. In a desperate attempt to survive, I worked with things I could do better in. Cooking and cleaning. And that was the beginning of my career. Hold on, is it okay to say that out loud like nothing? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Sure, I had some hard times, but I wouldn't have been able to attend some, uh, school as the ultimate maid without them. True. This, okay. You know, this kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Mukuro's backstory. It reminds me a lot of her. I still need to make that video like analyzing certain characters in more detail. I have so many to go through. Mukuro, uh, Mukuro Kyoko, maybe Byakuya, and Nanganurpa 1, Nagito, Nagito Hajime, and, uh, fuck, Kyoko, and 2, and 3 has a bunch of them, Rentaro, Kokichi, Shuichi, Kaito, <laughs> like, there's a bunch of them I need to like, really go with a microscope and detail them. But now I'm so full of projects, either for uni or for the YouTube channel, I just can't, I just don't have the time to do it, unfortunately. Anyway, you've never been to school? I wasn't able to afford it. My pays were ridiculously low before I became popular. But... Sorry! I think I ruined the mood with this, don't care too much about my past. Not really, I'm the one who asked you after all. 
That wasn't fun at all. Next time I'll tell you some writer stories, like things that, that happened in my workplace. <laughs> I look forward to it. Right, Yuki. I bet you haven't had breakfast yet. Should we get something to eat? Sure, I do feel a bit hungry. Then we're off! I like Akane. She, she seems sweet, but so did Sayaka. Well, that is besides the point. I've been around with Akane since morning. Dude, like, the, 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 the experiences I have with the other Danganronpa titles kind of put me on edge. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like the reflex now. It's just a reflex. We came out of the antique store and returned to the dorms. After a short meal in the diner, we parted ways. Akane Tyra's report card, or Tyra's, I'm sorry, I didn't still know, was updated on the EN book. Nice. Afternoon. Oh, free time event. Um, fuck, I don't have mono coins, do I? I'm just gonna save really quickly. What am I gonna do? Where can I find mono coins, bro? Oh, hi! <gasps> Oof! You stay right there, I'll be right back! Uh, I think this is my room, right? Yeah, okay, cool. No mono coins. No mono coins. Sad moment. It's a humidifier. Huh. I like that. Let's go. Okay, uh, I'll just go get a present, I guess. <laughs> Help. Help. I know Akane's sweet and all, but... I don't know, man. Hi, Satsuki. Also, another one I wouldn't, uh, another character I wouldn't mind doing a free time event with. The fact that I can't do it on chapter two on, uh, from chapter two onwards, I'm gonna be very upset. No. This was a major bro moment. I got an air gun, huh? I don't think she would like that. Okay, I'll just try to talk to her, honestly. She's so small, though. I can't. I can't get over the fact that she's only uh, one thirty-nine. Greetings, Mr. Maeda. Is your investigation going well? Uh, yeah. Let's spend time with her. With me? Sure. It's important to take occasional breaks. Can we rest for a while? Kanata and I had discussions over scholarly topics. Most of it was hard to understand. Kanata and I grew a little closer. Uh, I don't have a present! I'm sorry. I mean, I don't have a present for you anyways. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's pretty cool. So the first, the first free time events always happen like the other games, so we don't need a present for them. Great! That's good! That's, that's, that's good, that's good. That'd be kind of good. <laughs> Mr. Maeda, my, may I ask if you're having chest pain or adult ache anywhere else in your body? Uh huh? No, I think I'm fine. That's a relief to hear. Physical health is often affected negatively when mental and emotional factors are at risk. Facts! In a closed and restricted environment like this, it's harder to stay healthy than usual. Please be careful, Mr. Maeda. Oh. Oh, are you concerned for me? Thanks, you really are a doctor at heart. No problem, it's my duty as a physician. I want nothing more than to keep everyone here healthy. I know she's a doctor, but caring for the health of people you hardly know about? That's admirable. Nowadays, some doctors are so absorbed in making profit that they neglect their duty. But just in case, Mr. Maeda, let me tell you about the few life habits that will help you stay well. First, exercise your eyes often. Roll them 360 degrees, clockwise and counterclockwise. I actually do this regularly. Um. And I don't know how, uh, how to how much of a degree this happened, but everybody in my family, like my parents and my sister, they all have to use glasses. I'm the only one who doesn't. 
And I've been playing games ever since I was like seven. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I don't know how I don't need glasses. It's, pro it's probable that I'm gonna need them later on, but I don't know, dude. And, oh my god, that sprite is adorable! Oh, for fuck's sake, oh, dude. Oh, god, okay. And since the diner offers a wide selection of dishes, it's important that you make healthy choices for your diet. Try to cut down on sugars and sodium, food, food additives. Wait, I appreciate your advice, but aren't you going on too much? Never. Huh? Why are you stepping back, Mr. Maeda? Come, you need to know, you need to know these in order to stay in good shape. I just saw your eyes twinkle. That's adorable. Ah! <laughs> oh god, I knew I'd form an attachment to this one immediately. Oh. <laughs> Remember, health comes first. It was a bit scary to see her so being so eager to teach me about health. Oh my god. That's adorable. She she really is just kind of just really like her. Like she came first obviously, but she, she appeared first, kind of came second, but still, they're just the same character, bro. God damn it. Like, one is specialized... One is one is specialized in, in uh, surgery and um, health. And the other is just the most adorable... The most adorable character ever. They're both the same character! They're exactly the same! <laughs> oh my god. But I felt that she genuinely cares for her classmates. I managed to turn down Kanata's persistent offer for, of more health lessons. After taking a rain check, I parted with Kanata. Okay, cool. Okay, that was that was worth it. That was so worth it, bro. I, I, ah, I'm so weak. <laughs> At school announcement, it is now 10 p.m. Nighttime is here, and the diner will be off limits. Sleep tight and nighty night. Oh, that was so worth it. I have the dumbest smile on my face after that. It's night already, and we weren't able to find any clues. But it was just our first day. If we keep doing our best that day after day, we'll definitely find a way out. Let's go to bed. I'll need to save my energy for tomorrow. Uh, let me just save. I don't know for how much longer I'm gonna keep going, but it should be at least a decent amount. Tomorrow I'll definitely find, I'll find something. Determined to succeed, I closed my eyes. I found myself falling asleep before I even realized. Are we gonna get- are we gonna have another nightmare? Nope. Hmm? That's- oh, that's not the door, okay. Hello, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. morning! Rise and shine, your sign! Let us have another lively day! Morning sure comes quick here. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like two, three seconds. So what should I do for today? Are we just really going to free time events now? Huh. Weird. Um, hmm. Since I'm not gonna be able to do free time events later on, I might as well try to do free time events with characters I like. Satsuki! Hello! Um... Where the hell could I find a mono coin? I just every free time event I can get. Okay. Hi, Ami. What the hell? That's a nice little. That's a nice chair for the garbage dump, bro. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. Is there another one here? Uh, no. Alright, let's go. I'll go, I'll go to the Mono Mono Machine one last time today. Or maybe the laundry? Hello. Okay, a low-end model, but it looks just fine. Nice. That's two. I wonder... No, there isn't. Okay, cool. The laundry room is cool. I don't know. It's a little different from DR1s. Hi, Akane. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna fuel my gambling addictions. <laughs> Kids, don't do this. It, it, it's bad. It's bad for you. Protein. 
That sounds like that sounds like a present for um Ayame. Ooh, rare! World's world's tree leaf, huh? Okay. I did hear about these rare rare uh, gifts. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so I was told about those rare presents. Someone's favorite. Go on, give it to them. Oh my god, I have no fucking clue who it is. Oh, that is messed up, bro. So, apparently these rare gifts trigger special events with certain characters. Now, I'm no expert, so I don't fucking know who this is for. I'm gonna keep it for now, and once I know who it is for, I will use it, hopefully. Um... I think I'm gonna hang out with Satsuki a bit. Also, I'm also gonna save because I, I kinda want to keep that rare item. It's important. Hey! Hiya! Not a single problem when there's Satsuki's watch! Yeah, let's go. Wow, you wanna watch Satsuki's performance? Let me show you the special acrobatics I was working on! I don't know why, I just really like Satsuki. Dude, she's funny. I spend time watching Satsuki's clumsy acrobatics. Satsuki and I grew a little closer. Uh, I don't need to, unfortunately. I don't have anything, even if I wanted to. Sorry. Yuki, my performance, was it okay? To be honest, it wasn't that good. I know all she could use was a rope and some tools found in the storage room, but I almost got seriously hurt when those objects came flying at me. It was messed up! A total disaster! Oh no! No, not at all. It was pretty dis decent, minus, minus a few dishes that came toward me. Liar! Yuki's face says this bitch totally sucks. Satsuki can read people's minds. Oh no! Oh, if I if I'd known about this, I would. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I thought. Yeah, I still have a long way to go to catch up with my siblings. Satsuki, you have siblings? Of course, my whole family's a circus. Me, my eleven older brothers, and my nine older si- I'm sorry. What? Why does she have such a large family? A family that big, all part of a circus? It sounds like something you only hear in fiction. Cough, cough. I'm the youngest. Maybe it's because they were born earlier, but I just can't keep up with them. But aren't you the ultimate clown? You did great at today's performance. And aren't you usually way better than that as well? No. The only moment I shine is when I perform together with my siblings. My individual skills as a clown are so awful. It might be even worse than yours, Yuki. <laughs> Bro. Okay, that 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 was unnecessary. Even though you're crying, and I'm sorry. You're exaggerating it. I couldn't even think of doing that performance you just showed me. Anyway, I was gonna train hard at a host week academy and show my sibs who's the greatest. Cheer up. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, really? Yuki's rooting for me? So Yuki's gonna watch my every performance and ev and even offer one-on-one -on -one coaching? What the? Hey, I never said. I'm so glad! Honestly, Yuki, you look a lot like my 7th brother. I'm gonna do better with you cheering for me. Um, okay. That's good, I guess. Let's keep this momentum and start practicing right now. Come on, Yuki! Quick, quick! Not today, I need to do my investigation! I know Satsuki's pretty fearless in all her acts, and she means well, but this this is one clown car that, no, that has no brakes on it whatsoever. I had to turn down several of her attempts to drag me along before saying goodbye to her. Tatsuki Iranami's report card was updated. I think so far, hmm, my favorite... Oh? Uh-oh. That's not good. Afternoon. Oh, wait. I forget that's the transition. Wait, I'm not... I didn't do anything stupid, right? No. I'm still not needed. Great. Um, hmm. I think my favorite free time event so far was definitely Kanata's, but uh, it's there's a clear there's a bias. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Uh, we could, I'm gonna look for Haru. I like him, and the concept of, of Ultimate Pilot is not a stranger one to me. It's not a strange one to me. He's probably not here, is he? Nobody's in the di oh. Uh, fuck! I forget your name. Uh, I need to I need to remember people's names soon. Mikako, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have a free time event for now. She's just silent. 
Oh, I can't go there yet. Is someone in the AV room? Oh, Tsurugi! Uh, I, could, I could go for a free time with Tsurugi, I think. Hmm, I kinda wanna go for Haru. I'll search for Haru. I don't mind. Is he in the infirmary? It's locked. Oh yeah, that's right. The infirmary always is always locked. At first. Betting there's somebody in the gyms. Wait, can I see the map? Ah, uh, there's no map. There's Mitch. Fuck you. <laughs> That was mean, I know. Ayame! I wouldn't mind having a free time with Ayame as well. But I kinda really wanted to just go. Ah, oh, there he is! <laughs> if the situation wasn't like this, we could have been enjoying these first class facilities. Yeah, let's go. Sure, let's seize the day! What should we do? Wanna play basketball at the gym? I played basketball with Haru. Haru and I grew a little closer. Uh, I don't have anything. Sorry, Haru. Sorry. I mean, I do, but I want to keep that rare item if I can. <sighs> when are we ever gonna escape? I know the situation is tough, but we can cheer ourselves up, right? Yep, it's rough, but the bright smiles from the girls always cheer me up. What? That's not what I meant. <laughs> Dude, Yuki's just... Yuki's just Makoto in a different skin, man. I swear. I swear to God. <laughs> Don't you try to get away, Yuki. If you're a man, you should be able to relate too. Just check out the girls in this place. Seriously, they totally could have made it here as the ultimate beauty. Most of them are above average. That's what you're caring about? I don't care wh whoever it is. Want any of these ladies opt to be my valentine? <laughs> Haru, that's not what's important right <laughs> God, I love the dialogue. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. Well, not while we're trapped in here. We were supposed to seize every single day of our youth with these with those cute girls in Hope Speak. What a kuma, you son of a bear. Oh well, I guess I can make good use of the suspension bridge effect in times like this. Do you really like the girls that much? Hell yeah! They clearly aren't ultimates for nothing. Everyone's a high <laughs> Shut up, Haru. I'm sure being pretty has nothing to do with being an ultimate. Yuki, who's your type? Don't know, don't ask me! And don't forget about our main goal, we've got to get out of this place as soon as possible. No shit, man. Don't act like such a dweeb. <laughs> such a dweeb? <laughs> Talking about girls is an essential part of all private conversations between men. Alright, it's decided. I shall host a, a group date with beauties for my precious dweeb you. <laughs> I knew I liked this fucker. A group date in times like this? And hey, don't try dragging me into your shenanigans. This guy's got too much chill. Thanks to him, I lost every bit of tension. Well, being too stressed in a situation like this won't be good either, so I guess I'll give him credit for that. I really like this guy! He- oh my god. He really reminds me- oh. Sorry. Just going on a tangent here. Let's keep going. Battling off Haru's attempts to drag me into the, his plans, I managed to say goodbye. That was worth it. It's getting late, I should go back to my room. There it goes, the nighttime announcement. I don't know why they use the doorbell sound effect for that, but I'll, oh, I won't complain. It's still good. Eh, school, uh, you already know. You already know! I don't have to say every single fucking night! Another day passed, and our search so far has been fruitless. Damn it. I told everyone not to fret, but when will we actually get out? No, getting nervous won't get me anywhere. I should be positive and believe in myself. That's one step closer to escaping the school. Let's sleep for today. I don't have much to do here anyway. The others will be sleeping too. <laughs> if he's saying that, um, I'm, I have a very bad feeling about this. Laying on my bed, I fell into a pensive mood. I kept wondering, what is Hope Speak Academy? And what about Monokuma's true identity? I was ignorant. Everything seemed like a mystery. Yet I was curious. I wanted to know the truth. My thoughts faded as my consciousness sank into the darkness once again. There we go. Um, it's morning! Get the fuck up! <laughs> and 
three days now. The situation hasn't improved, but I still need to keep investigating. Oh, that's the door. Hmm, someone at the door? Oh, I thought I was moving him. Okay. Coming! Oh! Tsurugi! Oh, okay. Oh, Tsurugi, what's the matter? It's pretty early in the morning. Good morning, Yuki. Sorry for the disturbance, but can you come to the diner right now? Uh, yeah, but why? Did you find something? Well, not necessarily. I'd say it's more of a regular meeting. Anyway, please come. I'll go call the others. Hmm, a regular meeting. Well, I guess the others could be feeling anxious when three days have passed. Let's go to the diner, like Tsurugi said. I am feeling a body! I am- oh, well, that came out weird. Uh, I, I am sensing that a body is gonna show up soon. Also, I'm saving in the second one because I kind of want to keep the first one so that I can try to get the special event with the world tree, uh, the world's tree leaf. Which, because I don't know what, what it is. I don't know who it is. Oh, hi, Haru. Morning, Yuki. Did you get some rest? Yeah, kind of. Are you up because Tsurugi called you? Uh-huh, he told me to come to the diner. I'm not exactly an early riser. Better shake off this drowsiness before I go. Okay, don't be late, though. Oh, Mikako. Hello. Mikako, what are you doing? Didn't Tsurugi call you, too? What was that? <laughs> Questions for all the time, honestly. Gonna have to go to get some lunch soon. Uh, not ideal. Those who did not come, uh, this, those who did not yet come soon after, come soon after, uh, bleh, bleh. Read! English! Do you speak it? I guess. Those, those who did not yet come soon arrived after I came in, and everyone gathered in the diner. Wow. Except Mikako. That's everyone, I suppose. Hey, why did you call us so early? I need some more sleep. Oh, gotcha! You finally found some clues! Really? Are you sure we're getting out of here? No, not yet. I still couldn't get a grip on the situation. Much less clues to escape. What are you talking about? It's been three days, and we still have to be stuck here? That's why I called you. Like Mitsuhiro said, three days have passed. So we might want to halt the investigations and present what we've got. Even if you say so, there wasn't anything really significant. Those are also important, but I really want us to get a clear view of the situation. Especially since we settled down from the initial chaos. So, have any of you found something strange or suspicious during our investigation? Huh? Everything looks strange to me. Certainly, the situation grew even more puzzling than the first day. In particular, the absence of students and staff was my primary concern. Agreed. No speak Academy is a public place. It doesn't make sense for us to be the only ones here. Maybe Monokuma was lying? He might be trying to make us believe things he wants us to. No, this building is like likely is Hope Speak Academy. Did you forget already? Think about the brochure Mikaru found. True. The map there perfectly matched this building. Wait a sec! How do you know that brochure is the real thing? No one here has been inside the actual place. Couldn't Monokuma have made a fake map? I see, you have a point there. No, the brochure wasn't forged. I can guarantee that to you. Why? I've seen that brochure before all this happened. Do you remember the entrance hall where we first met? I was the first to arrive. There I spotted a booklet on the shelf. Thinking back now, that was the exact same brochure as the one we have now. And no other person is here, not because of our location, but of an unknown cause we are yet, we are yet to identify? Unknown cause? What kind of cause could make... Just everyone else from the whole school disappear. Or maybe Monokuma wiped them out? <laughs> Wipe out? Real people? But we all saw them! The guns on the camera? If we have those things all over the school killing off people in the building would be... Hey, just stop it! Are you trying to scare us even more? Idiot. That's when the modern school buildings have gun at guns attached to their cameras. There wasn't a single gun nor a camera when we first arrived. If Monokuma did something, then it should have been right after the group, the group blackout. True! So the entirety of the students vanished from Bison Cross during the short period of time we were unconscious? That's a real mystery! It couldn't have been more than an hour or so. In addition to that, don't you think something has changed? The school didn't feel this creepy when I passed through the entrance. 
Damn, what the hell's wrong with this place? It's driving me nuts! It was Monokuma in the first place. Assuming we have the right idea about his plan, it doesn't look like what an ordinary person would do. Yeah! Someone like a person who thrives in despair would do? <laughs> Please don't. Carrying out a plan this big would be hard even for the craziest criminals! I think this matter is just getting more and more complicated. But do we have a choice? There's no way to find out Monokuma's identity or whatever happened to us back then. Investigation's the only option. Um, would y'all mind if I had a little optimism? Like the possibility of a rescue team coming for us? Right. Our families have been out of touch for us with, uh, with us for days now. Wouldn't someone report us missing and start searching for us? Someone like who? Like who? There's our parents, the school, the police? <laughs> There's Monokuma. Ah, Monokuma! Too bad! No one, no outside force can ever temper with Hope Speak Academy's security measures! It seems like I haven't repeated this enough! Abandon your false hope and flow with the rules! What's your business? This one thing! I've been listening to your conversation through the camera, and you're all frustrating me! Be quiet! We'll make it out of here no matter what you say to us! Out? Out to where? The outside? Why are you trying so hard to get out when you already know the way? I've kindly told you about the graduation clause. Is it already gone from your memory? Should I restate it to you? The graduation clause said... KILL! Kill a person and gain your freedom! What's preventing you from choosing the easy way? Do you ever think we'll ever choose to commit crime? Surugi's right, we won't listen to you. Get out of here! Hey, Monokuma, who are you? Who's controlling you from behind? Monokuma is Monokuma! The most Monokuma-like Monokuma ever! You son of a bitch! Quit blabbering and answer the question! Initially, my expectation was that a murder would occur after the very first day! But what I got instead was three days in a row without murder! My dream of an interesting turn of events was shattered into pieces! I thought I had everything for a murder to occur, so I wonder why did nothing happen? Then, while reading a comic about a young detective, a thought came in a flash! There was a final ingredient for murder that I haven't had in! A motive. It was the motive! No one was killing because you weren't motivated! Therefore, I will give you the ultimate motive! Yes, an irresistible cause that will compel you to become a murderer! Motive? What strange stuff are you gonna do to us? Do you remember the audiovisuals room in the school building? I put an important DVD there! Please go and check its contents! Wow, that's so fishy! Let me ask you one thing. What's your motive? What do you want to get out of us? Despair! That is all I need. Remember the rules? You're free to investigate the school at your discretion. But will there be any clues? Who knows? Watching you all struggling to reach the truth is a good source of entertainment for me! Regardless, just do your best! Right, I forgot about the motive. Uh, I just disappeared again. We're free to investigate the school. To say that with such confidence. <laughs> I see. But what was the DVD about? You said it was a motive. I'll go check it, I'm closest to the door. Are you sure? Isn't that Monokuma's trick? I don't know, but somebody should go check it. Be careful. We'll follow you as soon as we get to know what that DVD is. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, let's go. Monokuma's motive. What would that be? I felt a drop of curiosity spreading in my mind. And at the same time, strangely, my heart was shaking in an unknown sense of fear. Anyway, let's head straight down to the audiovisuals room. Alright! Um... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go have some, some something to eat. Actually, you know what? No, I can I can end the episode here. Unfortunately, before the motive is revealed, I know. What a tease. Um, yeah, this is very, very reminiscent of Trigger Happy Havoc so far. But I have heard that throughout the game, a twist happens where it becomes widely different from all the others. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I really like Kanata, dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Uh, just... It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, oh, okay, focus, um, 
Well, uh, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's just that, dude. I like Kanata. I like Satsuki a lot as well. I like Haru. I really don't like Mitch. I am starting to understand Ray a bit. Mikaru. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have no f a definitive, like, opinion on anyone yet. Besides Kanata, because I'm pretty sure she's not gonna do anything bad. Is she, please? Game! Game, please. Just don't do that. Thank you. But yeah, that'll be all for now. Next week, we're gonna start the new Let's Play, as long as continuing this one. So, uh, I'm excited for that. Anyways, folks. That'll be all for now. Thank you all for watching. If you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell. You know what to do. Also, if you want to join my Discord or follow me on Twitch, both links are in the description below. Um, yeah, that'll be all for me. Stay safe out there, guys, as usual. Until next time. Peace.